Hi everyone, Stacy Burke here. I'm still dealing with this tooth right here. Uh, I think it was in January. I don't know the date, but it was a long time ago. I bit into a frozen candy bar, and I injured my tooth. And I went to the dentist, and they said, "Oh, it looks fine. Just baby it." But then it got loose, and I went in, and sure enough, there's a fracture. So they had to extract it, and they saved the tooth. Because luckily the fracture was in there. Uh, and so they saved the tooth. They glued it back in, this one right here. And then they put a bond on it. And it, it worked for quite a while. It was awesome. However, this dentist, I guess it's outside my network now that I have insurance. Uh, I guess it was outside my network because they don't tell they never tell you these things. They always like, oh, yeah, insurance. We got you. We got you. So I pay whatever I need to pay. And then later on down the line, I'll get a bill. Uh, and so then I'll pay it and then I'll go back in and then they go, oh, you owe more money. And it's the same amount of money. It was like, uh, I think it was 207. And I go, I just paid that exact amount. They go, yeah, it's weird, huh? It's like. Yeah, it's, you, yeah, that's just how the, the next amount that you owe, which I thought was weird. And then whenever I go back, like, I, like the tooth was fine for a while, and then it fell out again. And then I get, I pay, you know, money. I pay $78 or whatever because it basically fell out. And then I get a bill in the mail saying, um, your insurance doesn't cover missing tooth. And I'm like, uh, first it's not missing. The bond just came loose that you put on, and I have it, obviously. So maybe you just need to recode it in the insurance thing because maybe they're not understanding. Well, I still had to pay the bill, so it's like I had to pay. Like, I don't. I I guess I don't get it. Maybe it's outside the network. Maybe it's like I had to. It, insurance didn't cover it. Whatever the deal. I wish they were just upfront with me, like just say, hey, you're outside the network. Da 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 da. Or whatever, so I know. But I never got the paperwork. They, they never gave me the paperwork. So now it's going on like it's, it's it's September, and it's the same bond. This is like the third time that they reglued it back. And every time I go in there, I go, I want a permanent tooth. I like this little gluing in my tooth and being careful not to eat certain things, and with the fear of my tooth. Falling out, I'm not liking, and I really want to get a permanent solution. They go, yeah, we need to, we need to talk to you about that. Uh, we'll e email you. We'll email you. Well, I never got an email. I've been calling and calling. They never call me back, and so I'm just getting a little upset because it's like, okay, it's like, what are they doing? What are they doing? So I finally called. I found another dentist, but however, looking for dentist. Other dentists, dentists, how do you say plural? Dentist, dentist, I guess plural dentist is the same thing as dentist, is singular. But trying to find another dentist wasn't easy because last end of August, early September, everyone's on vacation. And I always get this a message saying they're out of on vacation, they'll be back in middle September. And I'm thinking, great, you know, by the time I get there, everyone's going to be going to them because they've been. They're going to be so booked, right? So finally I find this one dentist, and I call, and sure enough, they're on vacation. But this receptionist was actually very receptive. Go figure, receptionist is very receptive, especially on the phone. And she goes, look, I'm, I'll get you an appointment. I'm going to put you an appointment. Um, the doctor gets back on the 12th, but we'll get you on the 18th. So I hope this tooth lasts till the 18th, please. And we'll get going on it. And then she goes, and she got my insurance information, and she goes, okay, it should be fine, but in case you're outside the network, it might cost a little extra. Which I was grateful that she finally told me, because the other dentist never tells me that. And hopefully I'll get paperwork. So I'm just going to poo-poo this other dentist, which I felt bad because I really liked her. And she was, like, so close to my work and where I live. Like, literally, I could walk there. And she would answer my texts, and she used to answer all my texts and stuff. But I guess they just got caught ripping me off too many times. And I guess 
they don't want to do a permanent solution because I guess their dentistry just does a dentistry. Because I guess if you're going to get a partial or a bridge or you're going to get an implant, obviously they're going to probably refer me to someone else that does that. Because I don't think they do that in that office. And that's probably why they're just not returning my phone calls. What well, sucks? You know, it sucks. It's like, come on, man. So, I don't know. On the 18th, I think on, oh, God. Either way, I have, I have an appointment in September. I got to write it down. Maybe it's the 19th. I got an appointment on in September to get this tooth finally done. And I think I want to get a partial because an implant. See, I have two missing teeth in the back. I just ate, so I don't really want to show you. But it's all the way in the back. You can't really tell. But it's from doing bondage and wearing those really tight ball gags and me clamping down and stuff that I fractured two, two back teeth and they finally fell out. So I have three missing teeth. And so I think a partial would be good because I get three teeth. And I think it'll keep it my teeth straight. It'll be almost like a, um, what do you call it, a, a, a retainer, right? And also, I think it'd be cheaper than getting three implants. I can't afford that. And uh, a bridge puts a lot of stress on the other teeth. And I just think a partial would be good. Does anyone else have a partial? My, my husband has one. He has like a denture partial. It's fine with him. I think it would be fine with me. I think I would love it because it would be just like a little retainer. And then I would have all three teeth back. And I could eat and do whatever I want. And I think it will keep my bottom teeth straight because my mom spent a lot of money on braces for me. And then with these missing teeth and all this stuff, they're, they're, they're getting all crooked. They're getting all good. And then they had to change my bite. The dentist had to shave some of my good teeth down because this loose tooth. So my teeth are all getting all jacked up after my mom spent a lot of money on braces. And I'm like, no. And also when I was younger, they pulled way too many teeth out. So I have a small mouth. The dentist says I have a small mouth. I have a very small, narrow mouth. And they took too many teeth out when I got the braces. So it's like, I'm like. I don't want to become this toothless person. <laughs> I want to take care of them. So that is my plan. Hopefully, I think it is uh, September 19th that I'm getting this done. So please, tooth, it is the first today, so I'm hoping it lasts for, oh, God, it's like more than two weeks, almost three weeks. So wish me luck. It's just my dentist dilemma. Dentist dilemma. I guess this is the way it is in healthcare. It's like it's just the way it is. We'll just stuff like this. Just deal it. Like, I understand why it's so difficult just to get an appointment and, and, and go and the dentist be there and just does the work and be up front with the, with the money instead of like, you think you pay it. Like the old dentist, $78 and I, then, and then they go, oh, it worked out. Uh, you owe $207 more. I go, okay. And then I go back and then they go, oh, you still $207. I'm like, wait a minute. That's odd because I just paid that, but I paid it in cash. And you have all the receipts, and they weren't giving, and I don't have the paperwork. They go, yeah, it's weird, huh? It, it just turned out like that. I'm sorry, that's shady. That's shady. Like, prove to me. Like, I don't mind paying if I really owe it, but I find it shady, shady. And then I'm looking at Yelp, and I'm, I'm and then there's a few people that said that. Like, watch out. You know, they'll do a bait and switch, and sure enough, bait and switch. So that's just my little. Dentist Dilemma Rant. Dentist Dilemma Rant. <laughs> That's all. That's all I got to say today. Just talking about teeth. Talking about teeth. And it's like, I keep forgetting that it's like loose. And it's like, I want to bite into something. I can't chew gum. I can't bite in an apple. I can't have corn on the cob. I just got to be careful. Even with a straw. It's going, it's going to be a year soon. That I've been dealing with this. So anyway. And then they all go they all go on vacation at the same time. Dennis. Hey, can we all not go on vacation at the same time? Like literally, I called three dentists and they all were out of office until middle of September. Mm-hmm. I feel like Josephine the bird. Mm-hmm. Alright. Anyway, to all my stays cadets and my briquettes, I hope.
you're having a groovy day. Until the next round. By the way, this is an exercise bike. In case you're wondering, what the heck is this exercise bike? Have a groovy day. Peace.